It's, I mean, it's great because not a lot of people get to make their home, um, pro debut in their hometown like on such a good car like this. Uh, as somebody who was up and coming, how did you know to make that transition from the amateur level to the professional level? Was it something you discussed with your coaches? I mean, they always told me I fight like I got it like a pro style because I, I wasn't the type to throw a hell of a, a lot of punches, but. But I do, like, sometimes I know how to throw a lot of punches, but I, I, sometimes I choose not to. I take my time and stay composed. And I fought without headgears already in, in the amateurs four times. So it was just, like, the same thing, just moving up a different level, just change the name to pro instead of amateur, and two ounces little of the gloves. Uh, when it came time for fighting at the workplace Center, how was it set up with your promoters? Or uh, I, don't, I don't have a promoter, but I'm signed with Al Heyman. Okay. So... I was originally supposed to fight May, May 22nd, but then they asked me, do I want to fight in my hometown on this big card? And of course, I'm going to say yeah, so. Nice. And I was just so happy about it, so I've been training for seven weeks. Nice. What is it, uh, who were some of your influences growing up boxing-wise? Uh, Bernard Hopkins, my main one, because that's my little name. My, that's my, my, my nickname, Little B-Hop. Uh, Adrian Brona, Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard those people. Would you say that you've uh, style, style your fighting style after them or yeah, you have I've, your own I got unique the, fighting style? I got the fighting style after Sugar Ray Leonard because of the speed, uh, B-Hop because of the slickness and the, and the character in the ring. Um, Adrian Broner with the character sometimes, it depends. I know when to turn it on and turn it off. How did you get your speedy hands? Because you have really quick hands, so how did you get those? Uh, I used to play football and with football I was a wide receiver so a lot of hand drills you got to do when you want it, so you can keep your hands on the money so when you're ready to catch it. What other sports did you play when you were growing up? Football, I ran track, and I played basketball. And uh, what, what was it about boxing that captured your interest? I always, like, since I was young, I used to fight a lot, so I always loved to fight. So when I when I found out about the gym that I'm at now, the Cops and Kids program, it was just like uh, a place that I could fight, so I thought I was going to just go there and fight and beat up on people, get beat up. And then when I found out it was like trainers and all that, I was like, wow. And then I started liking it, so I came every day for five years straight, not one day off. And I am where I am today. Uh, growing up in Brooklyn is hard. It's not. It depends how you carry yourself. If you know how to control yourself, it's not that hard. But if you can't control yourself, it was hard. When I was a youngin', I never used to know how to control myself. So it's like fighting. I used to fight a lot. Uh, I used to do a lot of I used to just be a little bad kid from the streets. But I always had like parents that would try to put me in place, but it would like it wouldn't work for a little while. But then I, I started boxing, so I learned how to change myself and I learned how to act. And and it, boxing like really helped me. Like it changed my whole ways. Like like now I'm just a good kid that that fights. When your parents first learned about your boxing, uh, were they okay with the idea? Because I know it's got to be you know hard watching their son you know in the ring. But were they happy with your with your pursuit yeah, of boxing? Uh, and they see that I'm doing so good. Yeah, they got happy. They, they, they accept it. Nah, my, my, my dad is my biggest influence. My co coach, my dad. And how, my did you, coach. how did you find out about the gym that you were training in now? Did you just walk into it the one day? Yeah, I just walked in because somebody asked me, do I want to go box? And I thought I was just going to go in there, throw on gloves. I didn't expect to uh, put on a, have a trainer and all that. So I just thought I was going to go in there and fight. And I walked in, I seen a lot of kids in there with experience, way more experience than me. I thought I was the man. I told everybody I want to fight them. And um, any message for the fans at home to get them to come on out and watch a fight on Friday? Come Friday, you will see history, little b -hop. I will showcase my talent, my skills, my charisma, my character in the ring. Just gonna have fun.